What did the strange teacher at your school do that made them so strange? My 8th grade science teacher. He kept animal organs in jars of formaldehyde. Not so strange for a science teacher, correct? Well, in this case these were all organs he harvested himself from animals on his farm. He rigged the clock in his room so that it ran backwards. So at noon the hands would be in the 6.30 position. During our first lesson he changed his shirt 14 times. Anytime the office would interrupt us, he would respond in Latin. He had an entire wall covered in the front page from Weekly World News. On assignments involving answering questions, our answers always had to have the question reworded in it. For example, what is the order of the planets in our solar system? We'd have to do an answer like this, the planets in our solar system in order from closest to the sun to furthest are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Pluto. For students interested in it, he would loan out college level books on subjects like quantum mechanics, physics, mathematics, etc. Best science teacher I ever had. 8th grade French. She was pretty. Quirky. She'd have us sing this love song in French, and then she'd be like random boy in the class, I think, random girl in the class, Lee I E I E I E X U. She was always trying to get people together. It happened to me once, most embarrassing moment I'd ever had in that class. She also loved knowing about people's home lives, and would ask stuff like so, did you go to, restaurant that you said you went to last week, again this weekend? Also, she really liked a couple students. She'd say stuff like oh, Ben, you look very handsome today, and it was always towards Ben. She'd say it about one other boy in the class, but more often than not, it was about Ben. She'd also tell Christy, how beautiful she was, and she'd say it all, the, time, never about anybody else. She had this weird habit of assuming people's races, so she ended up asking a black kid, who wasn't Muslim, if he was celebrating Eid. It was a weird conversation. She liked making dirty jokes, so she taught us about the Bayouks tapestry, and then looked for all the places that had a drawing of a dick in them. She called it a wing wang. She made a couple pop culture references too. One time, nobody understood a lyric she quoted from Hey Ya yeah by Outcast, so she just played us the video. I was in her homeroom, and she thought of all of her homeroom students as her family, because all of her kids were at college. She also talked a lot about how she was old, and was withering away. It was an interesting class. My high school German teacher was very religious, and told all of his classes he was saving himself for marriage, and encouraged us all to do the same. When he came back to class, after he got married, he finally looked like someone removed the stick out of his ass, and he was relaxed for once in his life. Then he all told us to wait until marriage, because it was worth the wait. Guess his new wife was pretty good in bed. Pretended to be a dinosaur to demonstrate Darwinism. Like, chasing students, sprinting round the class with his hands in front of him like a T-Rex. He would also run across the desks, jumping between them, roaring. He's the leader of our local council board now. Okay, here we go. I had this one teacher in high school. We'll call her Miss Claudia. Miss Claudia would sometimes keep everybody in extra 5 or so minutes after class was over, it felt like so much longer, and just stare at everyone. She wouldn't say a word, unless you tried to get up, then she would shout at you to sit down. Miss Claudia wore crocs to school, every day. She would randomly single out one kid some days to just make miserable. She would shout at them, randomly give them a zero for a test, keep them after class, anything to make that kid's life hard but just for one day, and never the same kid twice in a row. Miss Claudia would sometimes eat burritos during class, with chopsticks. Miss Claudia offered several students, male and female, good grades in return for sex. No one accepted as far as I know. She was far from hot and obviously crazy, nor did she get caught, to my knowledge. If Miss Claudia caught you doing something you weren't supposed to she had a bunch of weird punishments, including forcing you to call every one master or my lord or something like that, choosing a random other student that you had to hug, forcing you to sit on her desk for the rest of the class, throwing your possessions across the room, and telling you to crawl on your belly to retrieve them. Miss Claudia sometimes gave impromptu sex ed classes during her English class. I could write a fucking novel about my German teacher. 
I will try my best to describe him with little excerpts. So, we'll call him Mr. S. Mr. S was a complete lunatic. He was a squally looking, balding, horrible comb over, nasally high pitched voice, that I wish I could explain further but it really is just something else. He'd referred to classmates as freaks. He spoke German incorrectly, according to an actual German in our school, but still is teaching there, yes, we called in. He had a fake tooth, that he would take out with his tongue and scare kids within class, or hallways. Weird threats to students such as I'm going to dip you in delectable sauce and let the ants carry you away. Even if he was joking. Dear God. He would pace back and forth in class, while kids were taking tests, and talk to himself. Mostly whispers and sometimes he'd giggle. Yes. Giggle. He'd spit as he talked all the time. Hid my face once. Really pissed about that still. I know Germans have a harsh language but fuck. Once there was a fight in the hallway. Usually a teacher is supposed to intervene. Instead, he sprints down the hallway to find a female teacher to break up the fight. On top of this he had huge anger problem. He would freak out when people interrupted him or even with no one did. I mean literally dead silence. Then all of a sudden he would throw markers, chalk, which he claimed he was allergic to. And the color blue, what the fuck. Markers, paper, pencils, you name it. Would deep throat bananas at his desk. I'm not kidding. I've never seen anyone eat a banana like that. I gotta think of some more. To go with this, we had our ongoing battle of pranks we pulled on the guy. Which is a whole other sub. So I feel bad looking back on, but he really was a prick. Didn't help he was very strange on top of that. History teacher always used to tell stories about how he was in all of these wars, how he defended his house against tanks in 2008 with two of his family members and three AK-47s. Always connecting stuff with the Illuminati or religion, told us more stories about how he fought 13 demons every day, giving a speech about how much he hates gays, and how it's wrong to be gay, every day, and not really teaching us much about history, other than his. My 8th grade pet slash health teacher was a raging alcoholic. Think W. C. Fields. Big nose. Slurred speech. During our unit on drugs and alcohol, he brought in his empty liquor bottle collection as a visual aid. We had penned health on alternating days, and he would forget he had shown us his collection during the interim. So if he showed us his collection on Monday, he would show us again on Wednesday. This went on for several lessons. The following week. He had a sub one day, and the sub said the teacher had left a note saying he couldn't remember if he had shown us his bottle collection. Some of the students lied and said we hadn't seen it, so we got to see it again. In the spring, he collaborated with one of the high school pet teachers, also an alcoholic, to take his students on a field trip to the bowling alley. While we were bowling, they both went into the bar and came out with drinks. They said it was Diet Coke, but it was some pretty flat light colored Diet Coke in short glasses, if you know what I'm saying. There was a history teacher that would just constantly eat bananas. I never saw him eat anything other than bananas. He used to get really angry when people would see him eating his banana too. He started to eat it in his office alone. I was looking for another teacher one day and looked into the classroom to see Mr. Banana teacher eating his banana. He stormed out of the room and screamed at me for being in the hallway. Yeah, he was strange. 7th grade English teacher. Her entire classroom was covered in hello, kitty shit. And I mean the entire classroom. She always spoke in this weird, nasally falsetto voice and was just in generally weird. This is in Midwestern America BTW. But she was also extremely nice and was kinda known as a cool teacher because she'd let people goof off in class. This was back in the days of AIM, and one of the kids in my class happened to track down her screen name. So we dim her every once in a while just being stupid, immature middle school students. Until one day we looked in her AIM profile. It had a bunch of shitty evanescence quotes and text art, as AIMers were wont to do at that time. But way I I I I down at the bottom, we found a one letter hyperlink. That hyperlink led to an amateur porn site that had, you guessed it, pictures of our teacher all over it. Included in those pictures were her, handcuffed naked to a bed, as well as pictures of her fake slitting her wrists. It was a huge deal at the time. Superintendent was called in, yada yada yada. 
but because the students found her in and she didn't give it to us herself, she didn't lose her job. Really made our weekly spelling tests an awkward affair for the rest of the year. There was a science slash physics teacher at my high school, who put on this persona of being a complete psychopath who always spoke in a calm, but cold emotionless voice for like the first three years of high school. It wasn't until I had him in my last year, that I realized, that he just does that to fuck with the younger students. Actually turned out to be genius as it keeps all the young immature kids in line, and gives him a reputation as super strict, which people don't get in on until they have matured up slash actually care about school, because I don't know why you'd be doing physics if you didn't care. Absolutely legendary ruse on his part. The science teachers at my junior high were, were the weird ones. One of them kept one of those vibrating ball toys, like the ones you get your dog to chase, on his desk. Except when he'd show videos to the class. Apparently he'd turn it on once most of his class had dozed off and place it in his lap. There was a bomb threat one day and he jumped up when the alarm went off. Everybody noticed the toy fall from his lap and the fact that his pants were unzipped. Oh. The other science teacher wanted to go to med school, but didn't so he thought he was doctor. He'd medically diagnose kids in his classes with mental disorders or air viruses. The real strange thing was that he removed a wart from his thumb with some sort of acid from the chemistry lab. Then the nail fell off, and his whole thumb turned black over the course of the semester. I went to high school the following year, so I never did find out if the whole thumb eventually fell off. My English teacher in middle school was a pretty strange lady, but I liked her. She was about 55 to 60 or so, and always wore some kind of animal print clothing, usually leopard. Depending on the top she was wearing, she'd have a lacy black bra that was very obviously showing. She also had a tendency to wear rubber thimbles for going through papers, but she never took them off, so she usually had about 6 on her hands at all times, thumbs, index and middle fingers. She had these clear plastic high heels that she wore as well, but I could never figure out why, because her feet were a fucking disaster. Bunions and bandages and varicose veins all up in that shit. I spent half the classes mesmerized by her broke ass feet. When the class pissed her off, she had this scary, husky I'm pissed voice that boomed down the hallway. You could hear her chastising the class several doors down for acting like a bunch of heathens, and despite her small stature she was the scariest woman in my life at the time, not including my mother. She was also diabetic, so she was usually sucking on some kind of hard candy that would clack around in her mouth when she was angry. You'd see her lips purse, then clack clack clack. Those paying attention usually shut the fuck up when that happened. She was fucking intense, but super nice, so long as you were respectful of her and others. Despite her dressing a bit like a hussy, as she would have said, she was a proper southern lady and loved it when you behaved like a proper gentleman to her. I actively avoided the whole southern gentleman thing, because I think it's fucking stupid, but I did it for her. She loved me, actually. Picture, if you will, a full blackboard. The teacher, before wiping it clean, takes a thoughtful look at it, and proceeds to wipe it. However, he leaves a re in the middle of the board. As he fills the blackboard again, the E fits in seamlessly. That guy was certainly dancing on the line between genius and madness. The IC teacher at my high school believes in fairies. If you say fairies don't exist, you will be reprimanded. Sometimes her fingers are fairies, and she talks to them. There have been many teachers in the district who were fired for watching porn during class. One that I know of, who was arrested for having sex with a 7th grade student and several other teachers supposedly knew about it before he was fired. My French teacher who I believe is a paranoid schizophrenic, and so on. This is what happens when being a teacher isn't a respected profession and don't get a high enough salary to entice anyone who isn't crazy to do it. I had nothing but strange teachers. One of the maths teachers had a breakdown randomly, climbed into the bin, slumped down inside it, and wept uncontrollably until two other teachers came to escort him away. He never came back. An English teacher used to throw things at people and occasionally hit them when he got particularly annoyed. The history teacher was missing two fingers on his right hand, so always kept one hand in his pocket. He was a recovering alcoholic and a pretty angry dude, he swore continually, smoked in class, and could find the most twisted way of insulting people. 
I actually thought he was pretty cool. He just hated his job. The two pet teachers were complete party animals who went out drinking every night and spent every day standing outside talking when they were supposed to be teaching. Another maths teacher was a very old lesbian who tried to disguise her lunchtime boozing by continually eating breath mints. There was also a geography teacher who seemed to be an on again off again alcoholic. He would disappear randomly, and when he was there he spent his time wandering about. Another English teacher, not a young man by any means, fell in love with a very young student teacher and started sending her sonnets and calling her up at home. He ended up retiring early. That's only the tip of the iceberg. My school had, and still has in fact, a really good name for being the best in the area. I had a priest as a religion teacher at my girls only school, and we had a pole at the top of the class, where we would hang maps of the world for geography lessons on. And this priest used to rub the pole between his legs. Which was really creepy and sexual. He also gave grades dependent on how big your boobs were. We once tried to talk to the headmistress, a nun, about it but she didn't believe any of it. Math teacher brings in random junk, expired candy, interesting looking garbage he finds on the street, decades old textbooks, broken appliances, that sort of thing, and gives it away as prizes for solving riddles and stuff. Sometimes there's something cool, but not very often. He's also got an old VW mini bus parked outside the school. Not sure why though. He walks to and from school every day, and his wife, also a teacher, drives her own car every day. I suspect she won't let him park it in their driveway. And the puns. So many puns. Easily one of the best teachers I've ever had, but he's a tad strange. Another teacher at the same school is extremely sexually open. When we watched the Odyssey she talked in some detail about what she wanted to do to various characters. Fat for like a week just to that description.